Hello, 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 gang. Welcome back. Welcome along. Jay Wower here. <clears throat> Borussia, but beta. The beta save with Borussia Dortmund for FM23. And the Wonder Kid factory that is Borussia Dortmund is thriving. The production line is producing wins. Uh, yeah, this analogy's got away from me. Yes, so last time we won 5-0 against Darmstadt and won, drew 1-1 one, one against Eintracht Frankfurt. Then we played Freiburg and we won 5-2. Bellingham, Makoko 2, Sule and Reyna. We followed up with a 3-2 win against Schalke, our bitter rivals. We were in control for that game. 2 for Makoko and 1 for Bellingham. Uh, we beat Mulder 3-1. Now, I had mixed emotions here. Alan Varela. I was distraught that he got sent off after 12 minutes, but I loved the animation. Watch how he got sent off. Professional foul, pulled his guy back, and it was very clear what was going on. So, match engine, take yourself a point. Here they come now. Plays it through, and then Alan Varela. I mean, a bit harsh to be a red card, really, but you saw very clearly what we was going for. And fair, fair play, fair play. So we've got our Champions League uh, start off to a win. We've got, we got our Champions League campaign off with a winning start. Then we played Hertha Berlin at home. 2-0, talking hazard of Marcus Leonardo with his, with his first goal for the club. Then against Colm. Now, a 4-1 win. Jude Bellingham is now playing the deep line playmaker in this system. And, well... He's been absolutely phenomenal, and I think that's where I'm going to be playing him. I've been tweaking, I've been tinkering around with things. Look at this for a goal. Bang. That made it 3-0 in a game where he was already having a stormer. So, I was absolutely over the moon with that. A 3-1 win against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Two goals for Marcus Leonardo. I think he came off the bench. Yes, he did. He came off the bench, as you can see here. Um, he got an 8.2. Sled of a Porsche with the other goal there. Uh, unfortunately, against Milan, we lost 1-0 in a game that they did have the better of. They are considerably better than us. Their XG was nearly 3, ours was 1.5. We could have snaffled a draw. And then we finally broke the curse against Mainz with a 3-2 win. And oof, let's just have a quick look at what Went down. We were 1 0 up from Makoko. They had a goal dislodged for offside. We then went 2 0 up. And then at 85th minute, they scored to make it 2 1. I was like, oh dear. Then it was straight away from kickoff, a, straight, a highlight straight from kickoff. And I was like, oh my God, no. Please, no. We went through and scored Marco Royce making it 3 1. And then Burkhart got another with a 93rd minute goal. So we just snuck past Mainz. It was very unconvincing. But today, we've got Bayern in the league. And then we've got Sevilla in the Champions League. Sevilla seems to be the team. So I think Molde are going to finish bottom. Milan are going to finish top. It's us versus Sevilla for second place. So what better way? So what better game to bring you than the game against Sevilla? And of course, we're going to play Bayern a lot in these Let's Plays. And there's no way around it. Because they are the best team in Germany and we are chasing them. They are the biggest games. So it's at the risk of being a bit boring. The sad thing is, is the next episode I'm bringing you is going to be Leipzig and Bayern with the Bayern in the cup. So we're going to have back to back Bayern episodes. The league table, though. Look at that. How beautiful. We are top of the league, said we are top of the league for now. But of course, we do have Bayern in our next game. They've drawn twice, Hoffenheim and Leipzig. Four teams undefeated. Leverkusen, Frankfurt, Bayern and us. And we did draw against Frankfurt. So, Frank so that draw against Frankfurt doesn't look too bad of a result, really, if you look at it. Makoko is up and there or thereabouts on five goals. Assists Bargi and Adeyemi, who both play on the right-hand side. A lot of goals coming down the right-hand side, it seems. Player of the match, two for Bargy, two for Reina, two for Makoko. Best goal difference in the league. We've scored the most by a long way. Six more than Bayern. Um, we've, only conceded, we've conceded nine, though, so we're still not keeping it tight at the back, unfortunately. And if you look at Frank Frankfurt, 
17 goals, one conceded. So the the only goal they've conceded this season was scored by us. So again, more reasons to be positive, more reasons to be confident. So we're heading into the game against Bayern today, full of confidence. Well, 14 days from now. So I'm going to skip through and we'll be, I'll be coming back just in time for the Bayern game. So I'll see you in a second, gang. Okay, here we go. Game day, Bayern Munich. We are at home. This is make or break for our season, these next two episodes, this episode and the next one, because realistically, we've got Bayern. We, if we lose to Sevilla, lose to Bayern, and we lose to Leipzig, and then we lose to Bayern again in the Cup, we're out of the Cup, we've lost two games in the league, and we've lost in the Champions League and could be going into the Europa League. So it could be a disaster, or it could set us up for an absolute phenomenal time. So this is going to be the team. Deep line playmaker Jude Bellingham. He's been very good in that role. Uh, Andre Santos is going to be our box to box. It was either him or Reader, and I'll be honest with you, Andre Santos is just a little bit better defensively than Fabian Reader. So I've just he's got the nod. Dodo Panadriemi on the wings, Reina in the hole, and Makoko up front. Now you see for Makoko or Marcus Leonardo, it's a toss up at the moment because Marcus Leonardo has been as good. As Makoko. Neither have been phenomenal. Even though Makoko has got five goals. Leonardo's got three. I'm waffling on. It's time to play Bayern Munich. Come on. I'm going to give it a pause. And we're going to do the encouragement. No reaction. I wonder if he didn't quite go through. Anyway, here comes Bellingham. To Makoko. Reina. Who's... I had a shot from range. Did not expect him to hit that, and Neuer just tips it round the post, raining out of the corner. Finds Sule at the near post. Doesn't find him. Mane. Oh, this is a Bayern Munich highlight. No, it's not. It's no highlight. Come on. Now. Inacio. Back to Neuer. It's... They're... they're a bit shaky at the back at the moment. Knauf, we need to capitalise. We're all over them at the moment. The longer we leave it, the more they'll get into the game. We're winning the second balls. We're boxing them in. Yeah. Never going to score a header from there, Schleder. But good effort. Good effort, little lad. And here we go. Another highlight. Again, they've not picked a good pass. And here we come away with it. No, Andre Santos. I've chosen to play you for a defensively minded player and you've given it away. Oh, Canal, brilliant. Might learn how to say his name one of these days. I'm sure it's not that. Schleder up with the juggle. Makoko. Oh, Makoko. Good effort, I suppose. Andre Santos, brilliant. To Reina. He's coming away with it. Find him. Makoko's got the pace. No, he hasn't. Bad touch. And Alfonso Davies had him covered. Look at this. We're not in the target anywhere near enough. Six shots, one on target. What an opening 18 minutes it's been. And they're going to score here. Oh, they've put it over. Thank you. We've been let off. Goretzka now. Inacio. Back to Neuer. Inacio. Nabry. Oh, Mane. Puts it wide. I'm going to demand more. Some of them annoyed by that feedback. Guerrero with the free kick. Sule! Here we go, another highlight. Oh, gets it away to Gnabry. Goretzka. Oh, Reina. Rococo. Schleder up. Pull it back. Rococo! Yes! Oh, brilliant. Oh, it was just 
Perfect all round. High press, high pressure, not giving him a second to settle. Rayner gets it. Makoko there plays it out to Schleder up, who delays, delays, and then bang, pulls it back. Makoko with the header. 1 0. Dortmund lead. Guerrero now, Reina. Neuer, Inacio, Kimmich, Goretzka, Alfonso Davis now. Oh, Bellingham with the interception. Adiemi. Not the best pass, Kareem. Oh, but we've won it back! Oh, caught in possession! Reina with the... Not interception this time, with the tackle this time! Into Makoko, who gets his second of the game. Bayern are the ma are Bayern the masters of their own downfall here, or have we just been brilliant? That's twice. Bayern have been sloppy at the back, but is it their sloppiness or our intensity? We're up for this game. We are bloody up for this. It's two nil. Yusufa Makoko is getting a nine. 0 for a first half brace. Happy with the number of shots. Keep it up. Yes, keep it up indeed. However, Antonio Silva's getting a 6.5. Don't like that. I don't like the 6.6 .6 from Karim Madiemi. So I think Rooney Bargi's coming on. And I think I'm just going to leave it where it is for the moment. For 15. Rooney Bargi is coming on for Adiemi. Because, yeah, once again, Adiemi's been poor. Brilliantly cleared. I can't, I can't believe Knauf's only getting a 6.8. He seems to have been involved in loads. Interceptions, tackles, he's been brilliant. There he is again. Bellingham. Into Rayner. Oh, Rooney's caught in possession. Oh, don't you hate it when you make a change and it feels like you might have made the mistake? The complete opposite of when you uh, you make a change and they come on and score or something. So, disappointing. Here comes Davies now. Goretzka. Oh, and they have scored. All from Rooney Bargy losing the ball. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. Uh, Antonio Silva, again, I should have brought him off. He's playing crap. Go off he comes. Andre Santos for Fabian Reader. And I think he's only getting a 6.7 and he's on a yellow card. So Alejandro Frances is coming on. And that is going to be that. Three changes. I've still got one up my sleeve. Maybe for fresh legs, maybe for being a bit more defensively minded. Later on, Schleder up into Makoko, who nods it over. But I think tactically, I might bring it a bit more defensively as the game progresses. Could have done without that. Right, so at least, we, at least we're not going down to 10 men, though. At least we're not down to 10 men. So, uh, Gomez, right. He can play left back. Schlotterbeck's not as quick. Bear at tackling. Good work, Rick. I don't know. Don't know which way round to play them. I think it's going to be this way. I'm going to play Gomez. Left back. Schlotterbeck. Centre back. Um, well, that's it. That's, that's all our changes. I'm going to demand more. It's gone down really badly. Oh, it's gone really badly. Five minutes left. Four minutes. Three, two minutes left. We are still 2-1 up. Bringing him back here. Deep line playmaker on defend. Rayner can be here. Advanced playmaker. I'm just going to bring these guys back.
made the changes. There was no more highlights. We have beaten Bayern Munich 2 1. So, this team, we, I feel like we're, we're. The first half of this season, in my opinion, was going to be a troubling testing time. I thought we might be clinging on to our jobs, maybe outside the top four with the amount of change, the amount of the youngsters that we've got. But then I thought the second half of the season, we'd come good. We are carrying the form that we did play. We showed some good form last season. Rafael Guerrero out with a torn hamstring. Two months. That's not good. But we are playing well. And I'm confident that... I think we can get top two this season now. I genuinely think we can get top two. We're four points clear. Frankfurt are in second. Undefeated. by Leverkusen are in... If, so Makoko's now gone top goal scorer. Very unassuming, isn't he? He just, just sneaks in there. Another couple of goals. Two big goals against Bayern. Fantastic. Can we stop this era of domination? Let's hope so, eh? But it's nothing to do with the league for the next game. It is going to be the Champions League. So we are away here against Sevilla. So we've got Marcus Leonardo up top. Hazard, Royce and Adiemi as the front three in just behind Leonardo. Reader as the box to box and Andre Santos as the ball winning midfielder on support. Now, as we're away, I might play Alan Varello if I can find him. There he is. Play Alan Varello as the ball winning midfielder on defend. He's more defensively minded is Alan. And we've got Roth, Gomez, Schlotterbeck and Francis as the back four. Mats Hummels, he's not played all season, and I don't know if he's going to. He played in a, a couple of pre-season friendlies, and he was awful, and we conceded goals, and it, it's his pace. He's great, but I just can't cope with someone with that little pace. Not in a position of centre-back, which, which is heartbreaking, really, because he, he's meant to be a model, he's a, he's a model citizen, and I want to keep him, but... What we're keeping him for, really? Mentoring. That's it. Mentoring. But he's a t he's a team leader, and I don't want to alienate him. But he's a star player, not playing. It's going to happen. But anyway, that's the problem for another time. That's future Jay's problem. Today we have the Champions League tie against Sevilla. A huge game. We can't lose. We have to draw at the very least. I'll take a draw away because then that means if we win at home. And then we beat Mulder. We should be through. A game against Milan is away. We did lose at home to Milan. Thomas Delaney has scored for Sevilla. Early doors. This is not good news. I'm going to demand more straight away from that. A couple of people are unhappy. One of them being me. Here we go. Corner. Win the header again. I'm going to demand more again. We've been rubbish. This is it. This is what I'm saying. Bit of Alejandro Francis now. Royce. Adiemi. Reader. Oh, it's in! And this is another thing I'm enjoying about this game. Is the, the shooting, the saves, everything feels less formulaic. Like the ball seems to have a legitimate, not mine of its own, but like this... The goalkeeper got a, it was a great strike. The goalkeeper got a good hand to it, but not strong enough. And you see those goals all the time in real life. So it adds an element of realism where, yes, it could be frustrating if the goalkeeper, if your goalkeeper lets them in. But also on the flip side, when you're the beneficiary, happy days. Fernando now. Robert Pierre. Oh, Jesus Navas. Got in behind and El Nesri and Nesri um, makes it 2 1, and that was abysmal. I'm going to berate them. That was just so easy. Oh, they're all unhappy. Anxious. Oh, dear. Right. So, Alan Varela. 
playing rubbish. So Sally Oxan is going to get himself a little cheeky run out. Uh, Torgan Hazard, Marco Royce, and Hazard's coming off for Arda Guler. Um, Marcus Leonardo is not playing okay. He's not playing okay. Don't tell me he's playing okay. We put Namdi Collins at right back. No, he can't play right back. Really. Rance isn't playing well at right back, so he's coming on there. But I'm going to bring Namdi Collins off. There's four of the changes. And the fifth change is probably going to be Marcus Leonardo for you, Sufa Makoko. Okay, can we come back into this game? We've just beaten Bayern Munich 2-1 and looked brilliant during the game as well. And, and in this game, it's just complete and completely different. I'm going to give him an encouragement. And someone, there we go, some big green smiley faces. Marcus Leonardo's played rubbish, so Yusuf Makoko is on the pitch now. Oh, here we go. Arda Gula with the corner. Not good enough. Tom Roth. Reader. Gomez. Oxan. Adiyemi. Should have finished. Karim Adiyemi. Once again. Oh. Breaking my heart, Karim. I turned down like an £80 million pound bid, £90 million pound bid from United in the summer. Do I regret it? No. Because I think Karim Adiemi will come good. I think he's just... Maybe he needs to play him up top. I had, I had the most success with him in the last game as an inside forward. Maybe he needs to play him up top. There we get on. Reader. Oh. I can't even shout. Right, here we go. We're gonna demand I'm gonna do you know what I'm gonna go attacking. We need we need the goal. I'd rather lose three one than two one. But risk but have the opportunity of potentially scoring an equalizer. Well that was rubbish. Oh what an episode of two halves that was. I'm proud of your efforts. No, we weren't good enough and I've no idea how much angry that Ugh. Yeah, the reveals wow a fiori. Oh dearie me, right then gang, thank you for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, take care, and I'm going to be straight back, same clothes, same lighting, same everything for Leipzig and Bayern, I'm just going to stop recording and restart, separate the episodes, take care, I'll see you soon.